and welcome to HODL Harmony, where the beat of the blockchain meets the rhythm of riches. Are you ready to ride the crypto wave with me? I'm Tom Durante, the maestro, a crypto enthusiast who jumped into this wild world back in 2020 with a GPU mining rig. I'm bullish on Bitcoin and Cardano, but I also love chasing profit with other coins. With my music background, I bring a unique vibe to breaking down the crypto economy. Think of it as a soundtrack to your huddling journey. Here on HODL Harmony, expect weekly videos with market updates, simple technical analysis to help you read the charts, wallet guides to keep your coins safe, stories from my mining journey, and practical crypto tips. Whether you're new or a seasoned hodler, I'm here to learn and grow with you. I may be a few years ahead of you on your journey, but I am no expert, just passionate. So as always, do your own research. And please make sure to hit the like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, turn on the notification so you get notified of my new videos. Let's find the harmony in hodling together. All right, so I have something very exciting for today. I'm going to be unboxing an Avalon Nano 3S Mini Bitcoin Miner. It's a compact miner, it's perfect for beginners, and it also doubles as a heater, although you're not gonna heat your whole house with it. Plus, I will break down Bitcoin basics so you know exactly what this little machine is doing. Here's what to expect. A little unboxing and setup of the Avalon Nano 3S, a beginner-friendly explanation of Bitcoin, how it started, mining, why we need special computers like this, and the difference between a miner and a node. Stick around and let's dive into the world of Bitcoin mining. So for those absolute beginners, let's go over Bitcoin, what it is, why it is mined, and why we need it. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency created to enable peer-to-peer -peer payments without banks or governments. Launched in 2009 by an anonymous person or group of people going by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. It runs on a blockchain, which is a public ledger of all the transactions, secured by math and cryptography. Satoshi published the Bitcoin white paper in 2008, outlining a system to solve issues like double spending without intermediaries. The first block, mined on January 3rd, 2009, marked Bitcoin's birth. Early adopters used regular computers using a CPU processor to mine, and the network was small and competition was low. Why is it special? It has a fixed supply of only 21 million Bitcoin, making it very scarce. It is decentralized. No single entity controls it. It's maintained by a global network of computers. So Bitcoin started with regular PCs mining it. Why do we need something like the Avalon Nano 3S now? Let's find out. We're gonna talk about the evolution of mining and why there are such things as ASIC miners. Mining is the process of validating Bitcoin transactions and adding them to the blockchain. Miners solve complex math puzzles in a SHA-256 algorithm to earn rewards. New Bitcoins and transaction fees are the rewards. Early on, anyone with a laptop could mine because the puzzles were easy and there were fewer people competing for the puzzle to mine a block. The CPU era was from 2009 to 2010. Regular computers mined Bitcoin, but as more people joined, puzzles got harder. The network difficulty increased, in other words. The GPU era was from 2010 to 2011. Graphics cards were faster, making CPUs obsolete. The FPGA era was 2011 to 2012. Specialized hardware and improved efficiency. And then finally the ASIC era from 2013 until the present. Application specific integrated circuits or ASICs like the Avalon Nano 3S are built solely for mining Bitcoin. Canon shipped the first ASIC miners in 2013, revolutionizing speed and efficiency. Today, ASICs dominate because they're millions of times faster than CPUs, but they're only good for mining, not general computing. Why ASIC miners like the Nano 3S? Bitcoin's difficulty is now so high that only ASICs can compete profitably. Nano 3S delivers 6 terahash a second with just 140 watts, making it efficient for home use compared to industrial rigs. Now you know why we need this miner, but is it a miner or a node? Let's clear that up. What's the difference between a miner and a node? A miner, like the Avalon Nano 3S, compete to solve the math puzzle to add blocks to the Bitcoin blockchain. They require powerful hardware, the ASIC chip, and consume significant energy. Their reward is that they earn Bitcoin 
3.125 Bitcoin every 10 minutes, plus the transaction fees within that block. The Nano 3S can solo mine, which is more like a lottery style. You pay for the power and you only get the payout if you win a block, which is extremely rare. Or you can pool mine for steady small payouts. The Bitcoin node. Nodes are computers that store and validate the entire blockchain, ensuring rules are followed. They don't need powerful hardware, just a regular computer or even a Raspberry Pi with a storage of over 500 gigabytes. I have one running on a Raspberry Pi and currently the blockchain size is 800 gigabytes. So you'll need at least a terabyte too to be future proof. Nodes do not earn rewards. They support the network security and decentralization. An analogy would be miners are like gold miners while the nodes are like accountants, keeping the ledgers honest. The Nano 3S is a miner, not a node. Let's set it up and see it in action. All right, I received a package in the mail today and I haven't opened it yet. This came from Canon online store. Uh, I purchased it through Indiegogo, which we'll take a look at in a little bit here. And this is my second Nano 3. This is the Nano 3S. Uh, after I had my Nano 3, the original one, they sent me this in the mail, which is kind of cool. Backer number 971. So I was one of the first thousand people to have the original Canon Nano 3. That's pretty cool. And so they sent me a little keychain. I was not expecting that. That showed up in the mail. I was like, what is this? Here we are today, unboxing the Canon Nano 3 S ASIC Miner. Let's check it out. We're going to set it up and we're going to connect it to my personal node so that I can start mining some Bitcoin. Avalon Nano 3S. Here it comes. All right, it's wrapped in this nice cellophane. That's what it's going to look like when it's all set up. Can't wait to get it out of that box. Alright, there is your miner. Look at it. It's very compact. It's lovely. It's got this magnetic grill on the front. The heat will be coming out of there. And it has a dust filter on the back here, which is removable. Okay, it's a dust filter keep large particles out and you can see the fans in there very cool I love it and the Nano 3s power consumption 140 watts 6 terahash a second and we'll talk a little bit about what that is there's our screen it looks like a little button right there and this is where our Wi-Fi adapter is gonna go documents and the Wi-Fi module and a little sim card removal tool uh, Maybe to hit the reset button if we ever needed to do that. Ah, there we go. We're gonna slap that in there. This is a Wi-Fi adapter because this actually is a Wi-Fi mining device. I don't have to plug it into an ethernet cable. My booklet, since I'm already experienced with ASIC miners and I've already had a Canon Nano 3, I'm not gonna read this because I know what to do. But if you're new to this, Feel free to get to know your Avalon Nano 3S. Okay, now when you get these, they're going to be set up on Brains Mining Pool. It's a, a minor website. The Brains OS is what this runs on, operating system. It's going to be set up to mine to a Brains Pool. As I found out the hard way, when I got a big Avalon miner, I connected it to this same pool that this was connected to because I wanted it to be simple all of my miners in one place here's our awesome power adapter I like how it's kind of clear you can see through the top and we have our United States power adapter there we go I'm gonna get that plugged in and get it running and that's everything that's in the box and plug that in all right so I got a nice white light when I plug that thing in. So my power adapter's got power. We're gonna plug the miner in. Now, I learned the hard way to not really handle this very much. You don't wanna move it around too much. I had one of my fans fail. That was kind of the first error that I had on the last one. But you live and you learn. 
you know, you got to learn how to treat things with respect. So this is just a USB-C power cable. And it's going to plug right in the back here. And so as soon as I plug this in, it's going to kick on. I'm going to do it from this side so that we can read what it says. All right, I'm going to keep it flat. I'm going to plug this in and we're going to power on. All right, we got our startup screen. I can already smell the heat. Hi. It says hi. So it says, please configure the network with the Avalon family app, which I already have from my previous miner. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little screen recording of that so you can see that. Let's see, Avalon, Avalon family. All right, so let's see what we got. Can we add a new device? Please approach your device. I'm next to it. Nano 3S, there it is. This is the machine that's about to be connected. I can smell the heat coming out of it. And so this is going to configure it to my Wi-Fi network. I'm sure I got that right. It's configuring the Wi-Fi. Looks like something changed over here. It's got a mild amount of heat coming out of it. All right. And it succeeded. You can hopefully see. I'm going to try not to move this thing too much. It's got a lovely blue LED coming out of it. And you can configure that. I changed mine. Light. Let's change the light to a nice shade of purple. There we go. A little purple action going on to match my, my vibe. Okay, right now it's not hashing to anything currently. Zero tera hash a second. Okay, pool config. All right, so this is where the magic will happen. I'm going to put in my mining pool address for my node so that this is going to be a lottery miner mining to my node and I also have a couple other small Bitcoin miners coming in the next few weeks and so we're gonna add those to the pool my own private pool and we'll see how we do so I'm gonna get this set up and I'll be right back would you take a look at this I just got my nano 3s up on my public pool app you can see some of my previous stats this is the current network difficulty this is the problem that needs to be solved and that's how hard it is and that's how strongly I've been able to work at it and I'm nowhere near it right it just takes one little second to get lucky I guess is all but this thing is just starting up this is my old miner that I had I just switched it off last night back to pool mining where I get little payouts every day so I was up to 100 terahash and it dropped to zero, but you can see I'm, a, I'm getting 10 terahash a seconds with just this one machine. Now on the screen for the Nano 3, it tells me I'm getting five, but right here in the pool, it's telling me I'm getting 10. So there's a little disconnect somewhere, but this little guy is powerful. Let's do a quick market check-in. Oh, yes, look at that literally as I'm recording this video we got 40 minutes left in the hour as I was recording this video Bitcoin is blowing up again this was yesterday at 9 o'clock it went up this morning again it went up and started coming back down people taking profits perhaps and now it's going right back up and you can see it went all the way up Ooh, we are flirting trying to break over 90,000. It's got a little ways to go here before it gets back up there, but that's our next resistance, is once it gets past 90,000, it will continue on an upwards trend. And as you can see, it has explosive moves. So this is the beginning of something good. We'll check back in with this. Look out for posts on my YouTube for updates here. Let's check in with Ada. All right, so after yesterday's explosive move up, a lot of selling pressure with ADA brought it right back down to where it was and we're starting a leg up here with Bitcoin ADA coming right along for the ride let's look at our dollar index remember this is dropping this is on an hourly this is the same information we kind of had a little pump I haven't looked at this chart very much I'm just doing it with you guys now Friday just for an update on Sunday into Monday so we dropped and it's kind of stabilizing a bit. Here is Indiegogo. This is where I purchased my Nano 3S. I'll put a link in the description so you can get one if you like. It does come from Singapore. 
Although it's shipped from China, uh, I didn't pay any tariffs. I believe it comes from Singapore. And so that's why it's priced in Singapore dollars. So don't freak out like I did. And Indiegogo probably doesn't want me to tell you this, but when you go to check out, they're going to automatically add a tip. So if you want to tip them, that's fine. I didn't remember that. And so they took like a $60 tip just for the pleasure of doing business with them. So feel free. I tip them. So look very carefully when you're checking out. If you're on a budget and that $60 will blow it, you know, make sure you look at that. And don't be surprised uh, if the charge gets declined from your bank because it is an international charge. I ordered this last week and it showed up today, Monday. So it didn't take very long to get here. Five days or six days, something like that. Not very long at all. So this is still in the pre-order stage, basically. You can get a couple of different colors. They have white and black. I know with the other ones, they did like yellow and blue and all these different colors. So I'm sure those will come back up. They do have some other miners if you have a bigger budget. This will actually heat your home. And you'll get, I think it's 30 terahash a second with that. And then an upcoming release. Now all of these miners plug in to 110 power any of the other kind of miners like these run off 220 power they take a whole lot of watts okay remember these miners don't use quite as much power this one's only using 150 watts right now it's drawing 132 watts and we're mining 6.29 terahash let's see what the pool says yep 5.5 there you go all right so as i add to my pool we'll get more terahash and more chances at this bitcoin lottery Let's just average it out at seven. So every year I'll have a, a one in 2,388 chance to win a Bitcoin block. There we go. Look forward to more updates. And something I'll be talking about in the future here is Uphold, which is a great place to store your assets. You can hook it up to your bank account and you can hold dollars there. You can hold foreign exchange and you can hold crypto and earn on US dollars way more than a bank account will pay you so check that out I'll have a, a link a referral link in the description where I will earn a little bit and you'll earn a little bit too win-win so come back for more I hope you have enjoyed this edition of HODL Harmony with me Tom Durante the maestro your guide to the crypto journey Please make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you if you have. Hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I put out new content. And please share this video with your friends if you found it helpful. Come back for more and I'll see you next time at HODL Harmony. Let's find the harmony in hodling together. Have a great night.